Well, I had to make a video because, yeah, you know. So I got a new tobacco. Penny farthing. And uh, I wanted to, it looked like it's got a little bit of puff to it. It's about three years old. So, looks like... Uh, June of 21 so but it's got it's got a little puff to it let's see we're gonna open it oh yeah oh yeah you know that's uh, got some gases releasing you know it's got some fermentation going on Take a look at it. Wow. That is a shag cut right there. Definitely get that plummy perique. Penny farthing, a shag cut blend of bright and red Virginia spice with uh, Louisiana perique. A hint of fire cured dark Kentucky. Easy to pack, easy to smoke. Sip gently. Penny farther opens with a sophisticated sweetness. Evolving in depth and complexity throughout the bowl to a rich, satisfying finish. Right. Feels just right as far as moisture. So, I'm going to a bowl in this uh, shikom. Look at that nice shag. Packs very easily. Let's give it a light. That's very nice. I think the the shag does kind of do something for it a little. It burns good, and uh, kind of got like a crispiness to it, but not like a dried out crispiness, like a savory crispy. That's really good. It does have a little age on it, and it kind of tastes like it kind of tastes like a little extra. But uh, three or four years is a nice age.
very nice. I don't know why I don't really know this, but it's, to me it's like reminiscent of a real old time tobacco, like some Sherlock Holmes would smoke or something. I have to say I like it. I don't know if it's as good if it's fresh, but uh, this three-year-old shag basically vapor with a little uh, dark fire is pretty good. Kind of the same thing as Bankside, I think, except this is shag and that's a flake. But this one, I think over time the Perique kind of gets like a more pronounced fruitiness and uh, you really get that so very good